now. Rental market is pretty hot right now and uh, unfortunately that plays right into the hands of scammers who are looking to rip people off. Here's three on your side's Gary Harper. Well, I've told you about this scam before, but unfortunately it looks like it's not going away anytime soon. In fact, the Valley family tells three on your side that they were just recently duped out of $1,000 when they fell for this scam. This is the kitchenette the dining room table. For Gary Jones and his family, this tiny hotel room is home sweet home, at least for now. There's no room. We can't breathe. We can't walk. You know, and, and I don't know, it's just it's kind of disparaging. With nothing more than a microwave and two burner stove to cook, Gary says they're barely surviving inside this cramped hotel room, and they wound up here all because of a rental scam. It sucks. We went from a three bedroom, two bath house to this. Gary says his previous landlord jacked up the rent so much that he couldn't afford it. So his family went online and came across this West Valley home, renting out for only $800 a month. Gary thought it was a bargain, so he phoned the so-called owner and asked to see it. Well, yeah, and we wanted to make sure it was what it was, so we went out there to check it, see, make sure it was still a house and not like a shack or something torn apart or whatever. Now, it's pretty common these days for property rental companies to put a lockbox with a key inside so you can go in the door and check out the place for yourself. It's pretty convenient. However, that convenience is causing a huge loophole for scammers. That's because once a scammer gets a hold of the lockbox combination, he can cut and paste pictures of the home on the internet, pose as the homeowner, and then give the lockbox code to unsuspecting victims. That's exactly what happened to Gary. So we called the guy and he gave us the access code for the black box that has the key on it. And that allowed you entry? Yes. Gary says he had no reason to believe he was dealing with a con man until he sent the guy several payments, totaling $1,000 as a security deposit, and he tried to move in. That's when the legitimate property management company stepped in and gave Gary some bad news. They called me back five minutes later and said, yeah, you just got scammed. Turns out the scammer is still posing as the homeowner and posting the house online. So three your side called the number where the con man says the house is still available for only $800, an amount that tends to lure in victims. $800. Well, that's pretty good rent. Yes. Now, are you the homeowner? All right. I'm a private owner. Okay. So, actually, you're not. You're a scammer and you're ripping people off. I'm just wondering, why do you do that to people? Hung up. Gary says he can't believe he fell for it. He's now out $1,000, and his family remains stuck in this cramped hotel room. If everything's online for them to get access to and there's no restrictions, what's stopping anybody from doing this to anybody? Now, if you're looking to rent a house, always physically meet the landlord or the property management company at the house that you're interested in. Don't rely solely on text messages, emails, or phone calls. That's how you get ripped off.